All right, you guys, what's up? This is Rainy Day Robots versus Watermelons Alpha 3. What side are you on? Don't really what know side? what to expect from a Robots versus Watermelons. We played game. this one in the beginning. Earlier too. Oh, was, I recognize this. It was just yeah, it was just a simple. simple All right, map. this should be a quick one. You guys stick around. You never know what's gonna pop up in conversation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that Robots weapon? versus oh, it's the bloodhound. Melons. Did we have shootables? How, how much is, I believe there were shootables out there. Seven fifty to get out of this joint. Yep. There is a tape. Well, there's a table. It's here, raining. But... Oh, here's a 3500 door here, too. Double points. There's a 3500 door. <clears throat> at what, the really? At, at the back here, yeah. <laughs> Give me the meat wagon. Indy, stupid thing. Dude, that guy was about to... He was taking kiss, a, sw a swipe out of crime. Kiss the, sh kiff, kiss the chef. He was taking a bite out of crime. What? Hey, you can't... Can Close that can't, window. Okay. okay. Nope. Can't do that one either. All right. This door right here, 3,500. There's a bench here, but it's not like, hey, you need parts. So. Open up the 750. I found a shield oh. part, though. Hey, light. The, Let uh, there be power. light. The L car's out here. Nice. There's a robot here. Now, well, are they the, fillables? Robots versus watermelon. Hey, look. This is openable over here now, too. So he's expanded it. Shopping free. Oh, did you get a thingy? Yeah, I did. I enumber this one. Oh, here's some weapons. Might as well grab them. Uh huh. What is this thing? Come on. Nothing there. All right. Running out of sh money. What kind of Where, weapons? Where's the there? openable over here? On the side over there by double tap. What about this thing here? No watermelons ever. Oh, jeez, look at that guy. Come on, come on, come on. That was the only oh, two. There's another one in here. The I got that o I got that open. What gun is that over there by double tap? Can you see? No, I'm not in there anymore. Oh, okay. Come on. Ah! Oh! was a step away from being able to pack this thing. Nice. <laughs> ah. There's that gun. This yeah. one's smaller. This map is smaller than the original one. What? The original one, we only came out to that oh, front part. Was it, oh, was it only there? Yeah. Oh, so there's an yeah, extra yeah. area. No, there's mul multiple. We only came out that front door, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just in that first zone there. I think I don't. I don't remember, man. Dude, I've been running around right. looking for a decent wall gun to get with my mm, wall yeah. power, and I can't <laughs> find one. I still am using the Bloodhound, and I. No, no. Not very it's not, good. It's not great. It's not great. The only thing is KN VMP, or the Q or the M8. Ooh, Vespa. What a Vespa. Hey, that guy's got a watermelon on his head. Did you see any fillables yet? Did he have a watermelon? Yeah, trigger no. one shot. I just saw it. Look at the bottom left. It said trigger one shot. So maybe we got to shoot watermelons? Crate power. The robot had a watermelon on his head, and I shot it. I don't know if that was what triggered. Wait, maybe. there's a watermelon right there in that... In that thingy, the planter. On my side? Oh, right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm shooting it. It didn't do anything. It didn't say anything. Let me see if there's any others. You gotta blow them up, maybe. Shoot them with a packed maybe weapon, shoot maybe. Shoot the robots. I'm looking, but it seems like that. Oh, maybe the robots too. Yeah. What Any other water watermelon? Robot versus watermelon. <laughs> Extra credit. The next chapter. 
Any other robots around here? What is ammo? Bon, 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 Some bon, watermelons in there. Bon, Nothing bon, in there. Bon, 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 I saw a, a thing of watermelons, but couldn't do anything with that. Mm, tasty. Mm, nothing there. Okay. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ah, perkaholic. Did you? Were you able to shoot them? Eh. I'm gonna start just shooting everything right now with this gun. See if I can trigger anything. Triggered. I only saw that thing like appear in the bottom left. I don't know if that was because we opened a door. Yeah, but when when was that? Like when I was when I said it when I was running back, I said trigger one shot. Well, I'm shooting all these things in here, I'm but I'm shooting I don't think everything it... I can. Nothing there. Ooh. Put it in the map. Is it a put it in the map moment? Back in here it is. Okay, there's tables here, but are any of them buildable things? I haven't seen any parts for... The shield? Yeah. The shield that I already built. Oh, you did, eh? Yeah, it's inside the starting area right here. Hmm. It's inside. I'm surprised you didn't know what about, that. What about that thing there? Nothing in here? Well, that's a truck full of watermelons. You need to grenade that thingy. Bruck. It's like, boom, all triggers complete because you blew up the watermelon truck. <laughs> is, there, is there literally nothing else to shoot? I don't even know if those were shootables, like I said. Oh. I just saw it say trigger one shot down by, like, where the round marker is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like something. Maybe we're not... Maybe it's something else, not just watermelons that we're supposed to shoot. If there is anything shootable at all. Yeah, it's possible there's not, because I just shoot watermelons like it's my job. And I shot all the other things, too. Double your one. pleasure, double your points. Click. Shoot them all. You gotta yes. kill them as fast as you can. See if you can make it to round 22. It's the kill. I don't know if there's something that we're supposed to shoot, dude. Shoot the phone booth. Shoot it. Shoot this. Shoot that. There's a big lion out here. Ooh, um, rainy day. Rainy day. Rainy day. All right. I got it. I clicked it on there. I'm going to try and... See if I can spot anything. Robots are trying to hack. Added more wall weapons. Moved more wall weapons. Uh, no. More <laughs> he added more wall weapons. Where do wall weapons at? Yes, the double KN is greatly appreciated, and the Shiva. Wall Shiva. weapons complete. Las Vegas. Okay. Dude, the Infernus is putting them down. Boards. Watermelon ray gun. Ooh, in the box? Mo moved Widow's Wine. Okay. Move it? No, it's been it's oh. been moved. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was hoping that the... Yeah, I you know, before it was such a weird placement, if I could remember. <laughs> <laughs> but now that's been fixed, so... I appreciate that. <laughs> Put a watermelon on the robot's head. Check. Check. <laughs> uh, oh. You silly bird. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think there is anything. All right, then kill. You know what this map needs, though, because of the size now? It needs faster zombies. Yeah, it, it needs something. Faster zombies. Where they just like, yep. I'm coming for you. That's a good start. I'm coming for you. All right, what do we got here? Yes, come on. Perkaholic. Yes. Do you I have all it? seven of them? You're, you're in business. Nine. Nine perks, dude. You're in business. Woo! Double points. Yes. Yes, Slam do it. Down. Ooh, perfect timing here. 
What is that? Bro, what is this? No watermelons allowed, dude. Almost look like a, a Bible. Here says no watermelons. I know, and I like watermelons. Why? Why is there watermelon chunks on the floor, dude? This is the watermelon room. Look at that. Look at this. Anti These two are anti having a conversation. Anti oh, watermelon. she's been shot, and her face is slightly melted. She, she Asian. Oh, and here they got, it is. He's got this, so he was able to put this in the map. Look at this one, though. This is one of those little drone thingies you can fly. Oh around. yeah, he was able to put it in the map. You could fly that thing, though. Yep. Fly me to the moon. Nothing. Can't shoot these guys, eh? Where's the pack oh, it's on the other side? Activity inbound. So far, so crazy. So we went in that back room and then they all spawned out here where we were. <laughs> yeah, and then when we're out here, they're coming from inside. That's scary. That's like science. That's trickery. That's some spawn trickery. Spawn I need trickery. a new gun. Infernus okay. was fun, but not Great fun enough. power. That's great. That's bum, bum, great. Bum, 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 what about this? It's the sandwich dispenser. That's the ending. I like that one. End it all with this. You ever got a sandwich out of one of those things? How soggy they are? Uh, no, dude. I've never bought a sandwich from those. That's you ever like, got sushi from like a gas station? Sushi. Yeah, I was going to say. That's like buying sushi from a gas station. Oh, it's delicious. Dude, when you no. were, when I was on the road doing work, man, we had to eat yeah. at gas stations and oh, I mean yeah. a truck. Well, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. But a truck stop, some of the truck stops out on the road, like the Love's truck stops and the Rip Griffins yeah. and stuff like that, they're actually really good. They have shower facilities for the truckers. They have laundromats. They have like TV oh, yeah. rooms. There's all kinds. Well, of, when you're on the road that long, you have to, right? But then they have good, not restaurants, but like cafe, diner type places inside. Oh, them. the roadside diners and y stuff. Yeah, dude. it worked out good, man. We ate a lot of those places. I find, you know, sometimes I used to think it's nice to eat at restaurants all the time, but you get, you get sick of them. You get sick of eating at restaurants. Yeah. Man. So here, it, it, this is kind of like a I don't know if it's becoming a thing like everywhere. It wasn't a thing in California because it's just it's so crowded. There's fast food on every corner. There's restaurants everywhere, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gas yeah. stations. But out here, because it's rural, spread out, yeah, they make these super gas stations. And they're not truck stops because they're in town, right? Yeah, yeah. So these super gas stations like Circle K and Maverick, those are the two like competing against each other. Okay. And their Maverick is always like super wedged with people, right? Yeah, yeah. And they must make a ton of money. But their their bathrooms are like immaculate. Those, you know, oh, like really? when they have the little food things at gas stations, and you're like, oh, I wonder how long this has been there. Yeah, They're yeah. all marked time, time made and time. Yeah, yeah. Not like to buy the, it. Like what they do in fast food restaurants. Yeah, so because you know. because people are buying them, they're always fresh. Like within yeah, twenty yeah. minutes, minimum, maximum, twenty minutes. Yeah, your your gas stations are very different. We don't have, I don't know any gas stations here other than ones that have like official McDonald's in them yeah, or like right, a Tim right. Hortons coffee shop that's like officially in it. But you have like places where even mom and pop sell out like. Yeah. Homemade burritos. Oh, and dude, stuff. there's one. That, there's a mobile down the street that's a small one. I mean, a Chevron. It's a small yeah. one. It's not one of these super ones. These super ones have like eight to ten uh, double sided pumps. That's how big yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this one down the street, the the lady, the people that own it, their daughter comes in in the mornings at like 5 a.m. and she makes homemade breakfast burritos. Yeah, I think you, and, you got oh, those for me so before. they're so good. They're like better, be, as good as... With the chorizo. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And it's on the way to the, my gun desert range. Delicious. But chorizo. these... So we... we two, uh, two recently in the last year, two of the Circle Ks... Yeah, yeah. Um, two of the Circle Ks went from small, really small standard to these super Circle Ks with like 12 lanes and these big... Oh, yeah. And the, the food in there, I go in there and get those, like, pretzels, you know? They're so fresh. You know, the pretzel Bacon. with the salt on them, like, yeah, carnival yeah, yeah. pretzels? And then you can go there and you can get, like, a English uh, English muffin or, you know, just like you would a McMuffin. 
Yeah, yeah. And it's like sausage, egg, biscuits, or English muffin. Maybe one that doesn't make you want to barf. No, though. and it's like so fresh and hot, yeah. and the cheese There's is no melting. No preservatives. And it's really well, good. Other than what they buy. With yeah, the and then um, and then the Maverick is the same way. But we have two big Mavericks and two big Circle Ks within like three miles of each other. And the You're fuel. Making me hungry. You know, I haven't had lunch yet either, eh? Nice. And the fuel is uh, the cheapest in town. Oh, really? Because they get so much business, they can keep their prices low. So what that does, anyone else in town has to match their prices. Otherwise, oh, yeah. you'll just drive an drive extra mile. Business. Yeah, you drive an extra mile. It's like right now it's uh, three three dollars a gallon. I got the watermelon ray gun. Nice. Is it cool looking? Uh, oh, look at that. It's green. It's <laughs> something. It sure is. It's no chorizo burrito, but... But out here, uh, because we have the, the Interstate 40 up north and the yeah, 17, yeah. we have a, a fair amount of truck stops. That's yeah. where you'll find those, um, like, the tr the real McDonald's, the real, you know, the real fast food places inside. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That yeah, only yeah. happens at the truck stops. But there's some good ones here. We, I used to do a lot of work for them because they're, they're owned by the whatever oil company, whatever fuel supplier... That's who they're owned by. And Love's was one of the big ones. They had, we, we worked for Gemini Trucking. So they owned their own facility to get fuel, their own trucking company, and their own fueling stations. They, they covered all aspects. And we did a lot of work for them, and it was, uh, it was good. And it, it was good. It was good. I would take those mom and pop, you know, the ones where the daughter brings in the homemade burritos. burritos. Yeah. Yeah, over having the McDonald's. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. The McDonald's ones, there's a couple up in in uh, Flagstaff and Williams. Yeah. Those are two yeah. areas on the 40. So the 40 yeah. runs west coast to east coast, all the way across the lower third of the states. It's it's one of those true coast-to-coast -coast places. Oh. Well, I'd, and I prefer to, not just the quality of the food, but I prefer to support the mom and pops in a giant corporation. I know... The giant corporations also employ people. Yeah. But they also make a tremendous amount of money and you know. But here's as the thing. As long as someone else is working hard to to make yeah. that stuff, then I'd rather support. Well them. when the place first opens up, they're really, really good. Everything's spotless, yeah. everyone's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, six months in, they the bathrooms start to get a little dirty. The, you know, the, the yeah. food yeah. isn't there quite as fresh. Guess what? Yeah. I no longer go there. Sorry. There's plenty of other yeah. people in town that maintain their professionalism yeah yeah exactly all that stuff is important man you start letting it, even the slightest thing go it's like well, i'm not going here anymore yeah and i used to get my fuel from there now i, I go to back to the shell station which is a little privately owned one yeah yeah but i tell you when i was still in the oil and gas industry working circle k was making a big move right they were making big moves because they're they're kind of i think that i want to say they're based out of arizona oh really yeah so what they did was they went to California. And so back in the day, there was Exxon, you know, and there was yeah. Mobile. And then what happens with all these oil companies is they always merge and become yeah, bigger. Exxon, I was going to say, isn't Exxon Mobile? That's yeah, so Exxon Mobile merged. I believe Exxon bought out Mobile. Mobile was a, was a California one, right? Okay, yeah. And so Exxon bought them out and became Exxon Mobile. Well, they... Like Chevron and Shell were kicking their butts, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, they were kicking their butts. So, Circle K comes out of Phoenix and goes into California, and tells Exxon Mobil, "Well, okay, first what Exxon Mobil did was they got out of trucking. So they used to have company trucks. You know, that you yeah. Have, it starts. You have your own refinery, your own pipeline, your own refinery, then your own trucking, then your own distribution, which is the terminals, and then your own gas stations." So they got out of trucking. Then they're like, okay, Circle K comes in and buys all of their gas stations in all of California. Bought them oh, all. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, how much money yeah. that must have been? Oh, my God. A ton. And, and they, they, got, like, they made a good deal to get the fuel from ExxonMobil's terminals. And they yeah, already yeah. had outside trucking. So the trucking was fine. Everything was fine. And you can see from an inside position how this stuff all works. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy. 
And then uh, I haven't been I haven't been paying attention, but Chevron, which was one of my big big customers, and really yeah. good people that work at Chevron. And Chevron's another yeah. California company. They're headquartered, and biggest refineries are all up in the Bay Area. They're they're out of the Bay Area, like Bay. they're between Ber- San Francisco, Berkeley, and and like Silicon Valley. They're in a yeah. valley back there, and they own the whole valley. You get off the freeway and you drive into this big, huge valley and it's all Chevron corporate headquarters. But they, I think, joined up with ConocoPhillips, which, again, Conoco and Phillips were two companies that merged. ConocoPhillips bought out Unical 76 back in the day, and now I think ConocoPhillips is part with Chevron. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't heard of that, but I haven't heard all the... Well, you US would know, like, what pe- most people Chevron, know... Chevron, I know, Exxon They know Mobile. the emblems. Like the yeah, emblem yeah. for for Unical was 76, the, the, 76 I know the 76 ball. That's yeah, Unical. Yeah, that one I do know. Yeah, so okay. Unical was bought by Conoco and Philips, and Philips was the 66 logo. So 66 bought 76. <laughs> but you would never know it as like a consumer. If you went to a gas yeah, station, yeah. they wanted to keep those emblems for those for those people who liked that. So brand this, recognition. Yeah, and brand stuff recognition, like that. exactly. That's just where I get my gas. Blah, yes, blah, blah. Sir. Rita Shimashi. Well, they're, uh, they're not going to fare so well eventually in the future with everyone forcing to go to electrical. They're going to have to figure some other. Yeah, well. They're, they're... going to stall it. They're going to stall it as much as they can. And they've got the billions to buy off the politicians. So well, that's the good thing that's happening thing right now with the push for electric is all the auto manufacturers are making engines, gas engines, that are super efficient, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually br- you put your mouth right by the tailpipe and, and just yeah, breathe, yeah. right? Better air yeah. coming out of the tailpipe than there is in California. Yeah. So they're all doing that. So what that's going to do is it's going to push this mandate back farther because you can't just say all of a sudden, OK, as of 2025, no more airplanes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, OK, exactly. what's what's the alternative? Right. You have to have yeah. an alternative to your to your mandate. So what they want, they want to mandate is no more gas vehicles after 2030 in America or something. It's like, yeah, uh, I think that's for for California, though. Isn't what's, it? That's yeah, not but necessarily. For what's it. your other options? But here's yeah. here's the thing: what no one ever gets. There's yeah. in everything that happens. There's always something called a grandfather clause, right? Yeah, yeah. No matter what, if it's if it's banning a firearm, if it's banning, yeah, yeah. If, if you, you own something, if you own it, you own it. They can't take it from you. No, no. And the biggest problem, the biggest problem with pollution is older vehicles, non, yeah, yeah, non-fuel yeah. injected, non-computer. Well, you out the block oh, and you, you ever, can just smell you follow them. them on the road and you can oh, smell like, it oh like God. raw fuel. And those yeah, people yeah. aren't going to get driven off the road. And no. I mean, those are all the cool classic, like the Mustangs and Camaros yeah, yeah, and the old yeah, trucks. Yeah. You know. So you know, well, I I don't I've never been a big car person anyway, so I honestly don't care. Like, yeah, I, just I mean, don't. me either. For me, I, it's I good only, to A to B, whatever. Me, I don't care either. I only own five cars, so. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm a total yeah. car person. I love oh, I, I love are. vehicles. I lo- I'm not necessarily like oh, this is like a collector's edition. No, I like yeah, vehicles yeah, yeah. that I can drive and off road. Yeah, yeah. Or go fast. Well, yeah, you and... enjoy them at a different reason than just driving them on the road. Yeah, like you're yeah. taking them as a as a utility, like a, for a specific purpose, right. a recreational almost. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know. I don't know what what's going to happen because we have, I think, twelve years. It's twenty thirty five or something like that, or just under twelve years for until they will no longer allow you to buy fossil fuel burning cars in canada yeah but i'm like well you better start i better start seeing an infrastructure that's not a long time away man yeah like 10 years 12 years is gonna go by really fast and yeah. i don't see any infrastructure set up i don't see charging ports i don't see you know a massive increase in uh, although i think i think ford is ford is switching going, over dude Ford's ford, going almost full electric now dude this year ford made a yeah. um ford made the an f-150 electric yeah, yeah. oh it's a hybrid it's a hybrid see yeah, i think yeah. hybrid is the real answer look yeah. at toyota prius for the last 20 years yeah. that's that yeah. hybrid has been working and working fine right 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Ford did an F-150, and from what I've read on, on the internet and YouTube, which is always right, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're awesome. They're awesome. Yeah. Get this, though. Jeep. Jeep. It, this is such a, a weird, like, juxtaposition of ideas. So this yeah. year, Jeep made a, a called an EV something, electric Jeep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jeep Wrangler, like a... But Full in the, electric? In the, no, it's a hybrid. Oh, in okay. the same year, or the year before, they made a diesel Jeep, where in the United States never existed. And they made a Jeep 392. That's the that's the Hemi R engine. The Like, you can get three versions of the Hemi. The regular Hemi that comes in them, the R, or the RT, which is the 392. Or yeah. you can get the Hellcat, which is the supercharged 800 horsepower you know, two oh, miles yeah, to yeah. the gallon thing. So <laughs> in the same year, they made an electric Jeep, electric hybrid. They made they a made 392. The most biggest gas guzzling biggest car one. out there. But get this. I saw a comp this company that they, I don't know if they buy them or they get them. So Jeep, electric hybrid. Yeah. This guy got three miles off road before it the engine came on. Oh, three really? Three miles. And you could only get about 22 miles on the open road electric like uh that's, not, that that's good. not good at all no well and those are hybrids are no good up here though like it's got to be full electric all they said is no fossil fuel so i don't know if that includes hydrogen based yeah but vehicles. dude back in the day uh, again i was in the industry we were doing these what they call hurricane compressors they're to compress the hydrogen for the yeah, they yeah. Were cities starting it with the buses and stuff yeah yeah dude it went nowhere we built one of them one yeah that's the industry that's the the petro industry pushing that down though because i know the one... entire bus line transportation in scandinavia is all hydrogen based and hydrogen for those of you that don't know is water water yeah there, it's you know what the output is pure oxygen and pure water that's that, what yeah, you, you get when you burn you hydrogen drip, you drip water out your tailpipe yeah but yeah. it also can explode yeah and kill you Oh, they have propane though. There's been no explosions. No, I know, but it's what they're saying is it it, is it's dangerous. a charge. It's a charged fuel cell. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. like the the people trying to scare people by saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That, can and happen. that's how they push it back. But you know what? It's I can see that. I think that under the regulations would be allowed, because they're, all they're saying is no fossil fuel yeah. burning. Now I don't that, know if those this are the was regulations. A, I don't know if this was a. Um, like a, a hit piece or something, but I did see something not too long ago where there was a Tesla that got in an accident and it yeah. exploded. Or it caught on fire. Oh, it caught on fire. The batteries. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, listen, I've got, I use uh, lithium, um, they're called 123 batteries, kind of like those camera yeah, batteries. Yeah. So I use yeah. those in my te uh, tactical flashlights. Yeah. I keep them in this little um, container. And it's meant for them. It's a little container that has an O-ring seal on it. You open yeah, it yeah. up, and it stinks of lithium. It oh, stinks, really? stinks, dude. So imagine these batteries. And guess what? Oh, yeah. B Lead-acid batteries are the hardest thing to recycle and get rid of. Like oh, yeah. Like used motor yeah. oil. How do you think all these batteries are? The, the batteries could ruin the earth. We oh, don't for know. sure. The amount, the amount of disposal, the ground contamination. But right now, they're... In typical human fashion, it's let's fix the air, then we'll fix the ground contamination after years of disposing of lithium batteries on yeah, the ground. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't have the answers myself, so I'm just no. stating what my concerns and would be. And they've seemingly already made the decision, so there's no point in doing it. You know, it's just going to happen. You're yeah. just going to have to. My plan is this one year before this act is you know in place yeah. i'm gonna buy the most fuel efficient vehicle i can get that's gas so that i can still because i still like you know road trips and i still go up north which is a really long distance yeah dude. technology has got to got to go leaps and bounds because right now well, even a tesla yeah, like yeah. some of the nicest electric ones yeah, yeah. these guys they can't i watched someone take a road trip for, i think it was uh casey neistat took a road trip mm. from la up to san francisco Dude, yeah. he had to stop multiple times for like four to five hours to recharge his yeah. car. Who wants to do that? I don't want to drive for a certain distance. Like road trips will be dead until they increase the technology. You're not going to drive 
for like that many hours and then pull over for four hours to charge your battery and then move again. I'm like, Look, that's what I'm saying. There's no infrastructure set up yet. Americans nope. love there's, there's to drive. There. That's why yeah. in most American cities, it's unlike the rest of the world. The rest of the world yeah. has really good public transportation. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We as Americans, we love to drive. We love our big trucks and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's another thing to contend with is, dude, we like to drive. We have a big country and a lot of things to see, yeah, yeah. and we like to drive. We're not. It, it's going to be a much bigger fight in America than it will be in Canada. Yeah. Just, it just be from your your uh fuel oh, shoot dude we have i forgot we oh man i got a whole bunch of these just from the standpoint of the industry and the billions you know they're gonna there's gonna be some corruption and politicians paid off well my thing is always they're not really doing it for the environment they're doing it for votes yeah so yeah, yeah. when someone actually says i really care then i'll listen to that person 